Just remind us exactly what excites you. What is Planet doing from your perspective that's different? Well, firstly, thanks very much for the award. Really excited to be that participant. Um, what Planet is doing that's different is we put 200 satellites into orbit, ones like these behind me, um, shoebox-sized satellites with cameras that take images of the entire Earth's landmass once per day. So uh, think of it like the satellite layer on Google, but updated every day. And what we're doing with that is democratizing access to satellite imagery. Now, what's really exciting is really less so much the satellites than all the value proposition down on the Earth. And I can tell you about some of those. Tell us about some of them, because I know you're looking at methane, carbon. You're looking at real-world implications for farming, for example. Dig into some of the, the real-world ways in which people are using planets analysis. Yeah, absolutely. Well, they produce imagery like the imagery you can see just behind me. Uh, we, we cover the whole Earth every day, and what we can see is it will change. Um, the kind of use cases that's used for is in agriculture, uh, where we can help farmers improve crop yield because we can actually tell crop yield in every pixel, every three by three meter pixel, and help the farmer decide when to add fertilizer, when to uh, add water, when to harvest. Um, and that can improve crop yields by 20 or 40 percent. Uh, example customer in that case is Cortiva that use it across a large agricultural region. Um, state and local governments use our data to monitor uh, wildfires. Uh, we have a project called the California Forest Observatory that looks at wildfires, not just helping the firefighters when fires occur, but also looking for future fodder for future fires, like where's there's too much bush and, 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 and other material that needs to be cut back. Uh, we also uh, work with companies like Google on updating their maps. Um, so mapping is a big use case as well. Mm -hmm. And many humanitarian projects like tracking deforestation around the world. We have a big project with Norway uh, that is helping to sponsor access to data to 64 tropical countries to track deforestation, not just to know it's a problem at the end of the year, but to track every single tree and see if there's deforestation and then stopping it in, inside the decision making loop before it really gets going. And so these are the kind of use cases. What's also interesting is you've been weighing in 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 terms of the global nature of what you do, you're obviously serving people in Norway, you're looking across the US and, and different governments. We've just come off the back of a press conference between Japan's leader and the US, talking primarily about China, really. China, the US, bit of a space race going on. I know you've just written a thought leadership piece in Time magazine, really laying out your viewpoint that cooperation is what is needed here. Are you seeing cooperation at the moment, Will? Um, in, in, in much of the world, the space, space cooperation is happening, but it's not really happening between the U.S. and China right now. And this is the point of the article, was to point out that it would be a good thing. The U.S. and the Soviet Union managed to collaborate in space despite a lot of the tensions and during the high, height of the Cold War. Uh, so it, it started with the Apollo-Soyuz mission, where the U.S. and Russia docked two spacecraft together, again, right in the height of this Cold War. And then that led later to the International Space Station, which was built cooperatively between Russia and the U.S. And they helped each other fly astronauts to the space station and so on and when their systems didn't work and and they built that cooperatively together despite highs and lows of that relationship arguably it's a good time for the US and China to think that to take the you know they, this could be a high ground area where we continue to work together despite some of our terrestrial uh, differences